Hey guys, on today's craft, we're making a sign using horseshoes. That's pretty dang awesome. So stick around. I've been wanting me a rustic welcome sign or a farmhouse welcome sign. I'm not sure what they call them, but they make them out of horseshoes. And I see them a lot online. And if you buy one on Pinterest or somewhere, it's going to be well over a hundred bucks for one of these things. Well, I was at Tractor Supply the other day and they had horseshoes marked down. These were 350 for two of them, which is $1.75 a piece. Normally, two of these are $5. So I went ahead and bought a bunch of them, you know, to make my sign with. Well, if you know somebody that owns a horse, that uses horseshoes, you can probably buy them from them a lot cheaper. Go off from 50 cents or a dollar a piece. It's got to where people sell used horseshoes because so much stuff's made from them. But anyway, these are the ones I'm using and I'm going to make a welcome sign. I've never did this before, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my W first. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my W. Now I've got the horseshoes laid out about the way I want them and I'm going to put a mark where I need to cut it at. I can grind it and fix it or whatever, but that's pretty close to where I need my cut. If you go on Google, they have these charts that shows you how to make each letter in the alphabet from horseshoes. You don't just have to make a welcome sign. I'm making a welcome sign. So I got the W made. Did my measurement, made my cut, I tack welded it. I just put a couple little tacks on it. I welded the back, but then I ground it down so it'll lay flat against the wall. Now these pieces you cut off, don't throw them away because you can use them for other parts of the letters. Next, we need to make our E. So I'm gonna have to take a whole horseshoe and I'm gonna have to cut me a little piece off to make it an E. But there's two E's in welcome. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut me two pieces and go ahead and make both E's at the same time. So now I got my E made. I don't have it welded together yet. I'm gonna make all my letters and get them the way I want them before I actually tack the whole sign together. And I got my E made on the end. So next, we need an L. To make the L, I'm gonna draw me a line right here where I need to cut it. And then we got to draw a line right here and cut it again. Got our W, got our E, got our L, got our C, which is just a horseshoe. Now we're working on our O. This piece right here was the piece left over from where I cut the two inside pieces of this E and this E. I cut the ends off this horseshoe to make the E's. Now I've got a half a horseshoe. So I can use it to mark here and here. Cut this one in half. I'm gonna weld them together and we'll have an O. So we got our W, got our E, got our L, got our C, got our O made now. After I welded, I ground it just a little bit. I'm gonna grind the whole thing to clean it up when I'm done. 
Guess how we're gonna make our M? That's right, the same way we made our W. All right then, we got our sign made. It says, welcome, did I spell it right? So next, I'm just gonna take a flat edge, like a board or a piece of metal. I'm gonna clamp it to my table, and I'm gonna kinda use it to keep it straight while I tack it together. Then we'll finish welding it. Here's our welcome sign. I knocked some of that meal scale off the horseshoes to rough it up a little bit. Cause remember, I bought these brand new. Now these shiny places, I get a little surface rust on them and make it look old. I'm gonna mount this to a piece of wood. And I put it on here, looks like it fits good. Now I gotta cut it to length. So I'm gonna cut it about right here, have a little bit of hangover. Got our board cut now to fit our word welcome. I didn't sand it or anything, I just cut it. Don't worry about sanding this or anything because our next step, sanding ain't gonna matter. This is our next step. We're gonna burn this plaque. And I don't mean lightly burn it, I mean we're gonna burn it. So make sure you got you some water on hand in case it flares up a little bit, you can put it out. We wanna get a really good char on this wood. We want to burn it until it's pretty black. After we burn it, we're going to brush it off. I burnt the heck out of this thing. You see what I mean about we wouldn't burn it light. We burn it. I got this stiff bristle brush and I'm gonna try to brush all the black off of this. One more thing I forgot to mention, make sure you wear safety glasses because if you don't, there's sap and a lot of different kinds of softwood and you don't want a piece of that popping and hitting you in the eye. So wear your safety glasses. This wood looks really good. Even if we didn't do nothing else to it, that's just burnt. Looks pretty dang awesome. But we're not gonna leave it like that. We're gonna do something else to it. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna take some steel wool and sandpaper. I'm gonna lighten some of these spots up before I stain it. Now you can see where I took my sandpaper and I lightened it up some. And this wood isn't smooth anymore. You can feel every ripple in it. And that's what's cool about this effect. It makes it like old barn wood or something. Now I'm gonna apply some stain to it. This is what I'm using. It's called sun bleached and it's an oil base. It's basically a gray stain. And that sounds gross, but I've seen some good results from it. So I'm going to try on this old burnt wood. It's old now anyway. I put it on once wiped it off and i wanted it just a little bit grayer so i'm letting it soak in a little bit more before i wipe it off this time this is my third coat <laughs> it's weird because you paint it on there and it looks like paint is so thick and you get this feeling like i need to wipe this off this looks horrible but you wipe it off and it's barely stained so it's taking a while to soak in so i'm gonna leave it on there for a few minutes and just be patient. I don't think my camera's gonna quite pick this up good, but it looks freaking awesome. It's really beautiful piece of wood now, since we burned it and stained it. I don't wanna stick this on this piece of wood. So my next step is, I got these barrel nuts, and if you don't know what a barrel nut is, it's just a 
long nut. But I'm gonna weld these barrel nuts on the back of the sign. That way when we attach it to our wood, it'll float above it and it won't be on it. These bolts here is what's gonna go through the back of the wood into the nut after we weld it on. Got my bolts welded on. Now all I gotta do is mark where I need my holes drilled and my board and mount it to it. The easiest way that you can find where to locate your holes that I've figured out, I set it on the board where I wanted it to be and I took a Sharpie and I draw it around the nut here and here. And then I get my center mark the where it needs to be drilled and Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I know the camera is not showing how pretty this wood really is. But it looks good. It's freaking awesome. Hey guys, if you're interested in building your own stuff and you like thinking outside the box, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next video.